Hi friends, if you ask what project I have been doing the longest, then in the first place definitely will be this thing, the mains welding machine of the inverter type. I will say right away that the full video was very long, so I divided it into two parts for easy viewing. The second part will be released very soon. I did this machine for over a year. The reason is simple. I couldn't find the appropriate components for it. At first there was a problem with the foil textilite. The circuit is powerful and the textilite must be thick. When I still managed to buy the right textilite and mounted and tested the control circuit, there was a problem with the power part. There was no suitable core for the transformer and output diodes. This welding converter was developed by a man named Timville. At once I answered the question, how much current can give this circuit? It is safe to get up to 160 amperes. Also, there is a version with two power switching transistors which will increase the output current. My version is designed for a current of only 100 amps. Perhaps for some it isn't enough, but sufficient for my tasks. This circuit is popular because of its simplicity. When you look at it for the first time, thoughts come to your head. Why not to make it? It will take only a day or two. So did I. I thought like that. And in fact, the project dragged on for a year. I resumed this project only after I bought the core of a power transformer from China. And I bought it not on AliExpress, but directly in China, on the largest electronics market in the city of Shenzhen during my last year trip. By the way, such a core cost about 7 to 8 yuan, and that is about $1 at the current rate. If you think that this is impossible, I can say that it can be so, if you buy directly from the manufacturer or official suppliers. If you are fond of electronics and want your homemade products to look like a factory product, I advise the GLCPCB company for the production of printed circuit boards. They will make boards of any complexity for you and the cost of the boards is only 2 bucks for 10 pieces. Your order will be completed just a day from the date of the receipt. Just upload the Gerber file of your board to the GLC website, select the options you need and that's all. A link to the company's website can be found in the description. As a result, the transformer was wound, but again there was a problem with the diet. Yes, I could buy them in China, but the electronics market in Shenzhen is a bunch of skyscrapers full of various electronics and it is almost impossible to find something specific there. The ferret products caught my eye simply by a lucky chance. Already in my homeland, I ordered powerful pulse diet several times at AliExpress. But the parcel either didn't come or they sent something completely different. In general, I was exhausted with these diets until one of the kind subscribers sent me excellent diets, but about them later. So now, let's leave the previous story and go to the point. I must say that this video isn't a complete assembly instruction. Everything has been said and shown in the previously mentioned forum. I just show you how I did it. And the advice from me. If you need a welding converter, then buying it is much cheaper, believe me. This is a forward converter on just one IGBT transistor. The circuit consists of several parts, input rectifier with the storage capacitors and soft start system, a control system with a driver based on a complementary pair of medium power composite transistors, a power part consisting of an IGBT transistor and a transformer, and the output part consists of a chalk and rectifier. Everything is thorough here. There are a winding for powering the control system, soft start relay and cooling fan. Looking ahead, I must say that I have excluded this winding. Instead, I put a 24 volt compact switching power supply which feeds all the mentioned above. The power supply is slightly redone and starts out with some delay, so that the soft start works. We have a current feedback system by which the output current is regulated. Also, there is overheating protection. The heart of the circuit is the PWC controller UC3844, which operates at a frequency of about 30 kHz. The signal from the chip is first fed to the driver and then to the power transistor. Well, now in more detail. Mains power is rectified by the input rectifier and smoothed by capacious electrolytes. 
It is important to note that at the initial moment the power comes not directly but through the ballast resistor. It is necessary to charge the capacitor smoothly, otherwise the inrush current can burn the input rectifier and knock out the automatic circuit breakers at your house. Simultaneously, the power from the capacitors through another ballast resistor feeds the PWM chip. The voltage on the capacitors grow and the voltage on the chip increases too. As soon as it reaches the threshold value, and in the case of UC3844 it is about 16 volts, the chip will work and start generating control pulses. These pulses will trigger the powerful switching transistor and the whole circuit will come to life. Voltage appears in the secondary winding of the transformer. This will cause the power relay to work and from the moment the mains voltage will be supplied through the relay contacts but not through the ballast resistor. The whole process takes only a couple of seconds. After a smooth start, the converter will operate in nominal mode. The output voltage of the device is about 60 volts. This is enough for normal ignition of the arc. If the inverter output is loaded, that is, welding occurs and will limit the welding current by rotating the regulator, the feedback system will instantly operate. In this circuit we have a current transformer. It is wound on a toroidal ferrite core of small size. It has two windings, primary with only one turn and secondary. Power transformer. I spent the whole two days on it. The core was without a frame, so it had to be done with my own hands. The glass fiber material has been cut, sewn, fitted to the core and everything glued together with epoxy resin. I use Chinese epoxy and syringes. It dries in just five minutes. Further, the frame is processed once again and as a result it looks almost like a factory one. Next comes winding process. The transformer has four windings, mains winding, a secondary or power winding, a clamping winding and a feed winding for the control system. As I said earlier, I do not have the latter. Instead, I use the small switching power supply for 24 volts with a current of 1 to 1.5 ampere. The dimensions of my core are now in front of you. After I measured some of the characteristics, it became clear that it looked like the 87th epoch score. Given the size of it, we can safely got power of 2 to 2.5 kilowatts. If we take into account that during welding, the voltage will drop from 24 to 28 volts, then I will have the maximum welding current about 80 to 100 amps. This is enough for me because I will weld mainly with 2 millimeter electrodes. For small household tasks, it is exactly what I need. The beginnings of all windings on the circuit are indicated by dots. I advise you to mark the beginning of the winding, for example by putting red heat shrinkage, so that you don't need to guess where the beginning of the winding is. At first mains winding is wound, but not completely, in parts. In my case, a wire of 1.20 mm was used and turns are 25. The wire must be laid evenly, the turns near one to other. Then the winding is isolated, but before that it is filled with epoxy. The resin will fill all spaces. Due to strong magnetic fields, vibrations can occur in the transformer and the insulation of the wire may suffer over time, but with the resin of the winding will be completely fixed and safe. Next we put the isolation with heat-resistant captain tape and wind the rest of the primary winding. The number of turns, wire and winding direction is the same. Then again we fill everything with resin and put isolation. Later already on the board the ends of these windings will connect in parallel. Then we wind that fixing winding, wire diameter is 0.5 mm. The number of turns is 25 to 26, that is the same as in the case of mains winding. This winding is wound so that the wire lays between the turns of mains winding. The fixing winding is evenly stretched across the frame. We do the same with this winding, resin isolation. 
By the way, earlier I put two to three layers of isolation, but now isolation is needed more serious, that is four to five layers. And finally, the most time-consuming winding. It can be wound with a copper buzzer strip, but the least wire is the most efficient. It is a wire that consists of a large number of parallel thin wires that are isolated from each other. Such winding is done to reduce the skin effect. In fact, at frequencies of 30 kHz, this effect isn't so noticeable, so you can take two to three copper wires of larger diameter. But such a wire is very difficult to lay neatly, so my choice was lids. The bundle consists of somewhere between 100 to 120 parallel conductors of 0.5 mm wire. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact number because I made it a long time ago, but it seems to be about 100. We twist the bundle of the wires with a drill and as a result we get a beautiful lids wire, but that is not all. The resulting wire was covered with additional isolation, again the captain tape and only after that was wound on the frame. The number of turns is only 9, according to calculations this will be enough to ensure that the converter idle voltage will be around 60 volts. This winding also was covered with resin. The converter is single-ended and the non-magnetic gap is needed between the halves of the core. In my case, to obtain the necessary gap, as gaskets were installed, the pieces of usual receipt from an ATM. Next, the transformer was assembled. Halves of the core was securely fastened, so you can even glue it. It seems to be all with a power transformer. Let's go to the current transformer. Used ferret ring. Magnetic permeability can be from 1,500 to 3,000. The size of my ring is now in front of you. It's important that the ring be ferried. Such rings can be found in some pulse power supplies. They stand at the entrance as a choke and usually have two windings. Note that yellow, white, green, blue rings don't fit. They made from different materials. First the core is isolated, in my case with a captain tape, and then the secondary winding is wound. Wire and lacquer isolation, the diameter can be from 0.25 to 0.5 mm. The number of turns in my case is 76. Further the ring needs to be isolated, I just filled it with epoxy and its most reliable way. The primary winding is in fact just one turn going to the power transformer. On the board it looks like a jumper. In my case, this jumper consists of two parallel wires of 1.20 mm. I solder the transformer to the board. Maybe later it will be necessary to swap the ends of the secondary winding, if the feedback refuses to work. But we return to it at the end. Output rectifier is classical for this topology. Two diodes, one is direct and second closing. The closing diode needs to be more powerful, but I not bother much and decided to use two powerful diodes, 150 EBU04. They are for 150 amps with a reverse voltage of 400 volts. Diodes from this line are usually used in welding devices. Diodes must be fast or ultra fast, but it was difficult to get these diodes. Sellers from AliExpress sent not what I needed, it was unsuitable analogous, or parcels didn't come at all. But as I said earlier, a subscriber, Eugen, sent me such beautiful diets, or rather diet assemblies, STTH2003. Housing includes two independent, ultra-fast diets, each per 100 amperes with a reverse voltage of 300 volts, exactly what I need. They will be better than the 150 EBU04 because the area of substrate is much larger and thicker. The connection is with screw, which is also convenient in principle. After receiving this diode's assembly, the lost parcel came to me from AliExpress. And what do you think? Yes, there was a pair of 150 EBU04. In general, I had a choice to put Chinese diets or diets sent by a subscriber. I tried the Chinese first. At low currents, everything worked perfectly, but a bit increased and one of the diets goes to junk. The diets were obviously fake. In general, I threw out these diets and set STTH2003. It turned out not as beautiful as we would like, but it will work. 
On this, I complete the first part of the video. In the second part, we will talk about the chalk, how to wind it, prepare for the startup, and of course, we will weld with a homemade device. So please subscribe to my Instagram and my channel. Click on the bell not to miss the next part. All the necessary links will be found in the description. Now, I have to say goodbye. Until new meetings, with you as always, was Kassian TV.